if you click this video, you probably need a host to host your Discord bot. Well, lucky for you, I can introduce you to Epic Host. Epic Host is a hosting platform for your Discord bot with all the tools that you need to host it. It can take commits from GitHub, it can add more other people to the same panel, and it's built by developers for developers. It's trusted by me. In fact, I host my bot on it 24-7. And it's also trusted by many other big content creators and servers that own huge bots. If you still don't believe me, then you could check out their plethora of reviews. And even you can ask people on their server on their rating personally. I don't know if they're going to approve of it, but like in general. Uh, and they will most likely give you good results. So enough with the me talking. Let's get straight into hosting your Discord bot. What you're going to need to do is very simple. Go all the way down here, click this plus icon, and enter the link above on screen. Once you do that, you will be prompted to Epic Host. You may need to verify yourself. That's pretty easy. But after you do that, there you have a hassle-free way of setting up your account and setting up your server as well. So you're going to want to head over down here to the bot commands channel. Over here, you can click EH account sign up. And over here, it will prompt you to your DMs, in which we could go up here and click it. Out here, yes, I guess you will see any of this. This does not work anymore. I had that account deleted. Don't worry. And here, we can just set my username. So, we can say, glow. And my email, well, that's already publicly posted. Okay, so I accidentally typed something wrong here. I think one of my characters were off. But essentially, I did it again, and my password and account will be blurred out, of course. But over here, it says panel, click here. So all you're going to do is you're going to click there, and it should take you to panel.epichost.xyz. After that, you could just easily log in right here. So if I were to put in glow, and then whatever my password is, it would take me to here, which is there are no servers associated with your account. If I click account, it'll show everything here, and that's about it. In order to create um, another server, you're going to have to bas basically just run another command. So you want to do eh store and do view. And over here, it will show you all of the stores. So, Discord.js, and everything costs nothing because your first server will always be free. So, we're going to do Discord.py. If you have JavaScript, you could do that too, or any of these are free. So, you want to do yeah, store by two. And over here, success. So, all you want to do is once again click here, or you can just reload your panel, and it should work so as you can see here they're currently installing the server but i have everything here so this is kind of like an overview of what you'll see you'll be able to manage your console and turn on and off your bot you can see your file manager where you're going to have all your files you could have databases you can have schedules i think databases are for premium members but you can always ask the staff over there they're super nice and they actually just helped me out when my thing wasn't working uh, you can have schedules to when turn on off your bot, and they also have backups for you and users to manage. Um, you can also have on startup things, which we will be messing around with these, as one where you will be setting up your, I guess, commands or files. So here we are. It didn't even take five minutes, and my server is ready. So it will say Glow Six Server or whatever you call it. You can always change it in your settings. So I can call it Glow Sticks basement if i really wanted to and then it would update it to glow sticks basement uh this just tells me my server stuff um and yeah this is how much i'm using up and this is just a base server you're gonna have 500 megabytes of ram which is quite a lot no other host offers that much you're gonna have 500 uh, megabytes for storage and then you're gonna have 65 percent of a cpu core but you're gonna want to navigate to the file manager 
and once you're in the file manager we're gonna add our bot now you can upload it or if you have multiple files i do suggest uploading it but we're only gonna have one file which is gonna be called bot.py or main.py so what you want to do is you want to go here click create file and then go into your visual studio code or whatever text editor you use and here's my stuff right i'm just gonna copy all this right and my token is down here and go back into here and over here just paste it in here so it should look something like this and all my imports client everything that i need for my bot so in here we can change it to whatever it is python right here and create file and this is just going to be called main.py and over here it adds it and this is the only file that i have if you have like cogs folder and such you can make cogs and then let's just over here and add all your files in here i don't have that but if you do you can have it so i'm just going to delete that and you're going to need one more thing now this thing is a requirements.txt so you want to going to create a new file and inside over here you're going to have to do a couple of things if i go into my visual studio code here you can see that i have five imports okay this kind of is one and then i have next code async io random and aio http so all of this i'm gonna have to tell them to install now the way i can do that is so after you know your five um i guess libraries that you're using you're gonna go into your epic host again and there are actually two ways to do this you can create a new file called requirements.txt and you could import it through there so if you're using a bunch of libraries like 10 20 i highly suggest you do this in order to do this you go into your console into your visual studio code so here i am in mine and you're gonna have to type in pip freeze and it'll tell you an entire bunch of all the libraries that you've ever installed i've installed a bunch so and this will install a bunch of unnecessary ones and i only have a couple of libraries so instead, I'm going to do the easier way and the space con conserving, I guess, method, which is basically going into startup here and adding additional Python packages. So I use Nextcord, AsyncIO, and AIO HTTP. That's all I use. So add it over here and don't actually don't add commas. Just add a space in between them. So if you had to use, I don't know, PyCord, then you'd add PyCord or whatever. I use Nextcord. And that's just my personal preference. Also, you're going to make sure this is set to 3.99. Or it really depends on your libraries. Not all libraries are set up to 3.10 yet. So I'm just going to keep mine at 3.9, which I know works on my bot. You're also going to have to change this bot.py file to whatever you set it here. So I set it to main. So I'm just going to keep it as main. And if you don't want, see, if you have a requirements.txt, you're going to set that here. Now, if you want it to automatically get from your GitHub rep repository, you're going to have to follow the instructions here, and that basically does it. Now, we can go into our console and click Start here. And basically, in this time lapse, you can just see the entire startup method. And yeah, here it says Drome is online, which it is. And then, it'll keep it like this. Even though it says starting, make sure you just have your confirmation confirmation message and that's when you know it's actually started. And over here, you can just see it doesn't even use up that many resources when it's idling and it takes up barely enough space, barely uh, even a small bit of space because I specified exactly what repositories I want or libraries. So make sure you keep that in check or and you don't install a bunch of them or else you might go over the limit and you might have your server deleted or they might actually uninstall for you or I don't know. I haven't done that ever so just I don't want to go into that area. But yeah, now if we hop into Discord here and go into my server, link down below in the description, I highly suggest you check it out. It's pretty cool, we do dumb stuff there. And if you go into my repo, here if I have testing, he's in there, uh, you can see Drome is online. So you could do D, and if we put in D help, it works. And I have is command. There you go. Everything works, and I haven't even hosted it from Visual Studio Code. 
and yeah that's gonna be it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed and it's been a really fun one to make i know this hosting method has changed in the past so i just want to update you guys on it and a lot of things has happened with epic hosts so they've become a lot better but till next time glow stick out see ya